Yeah? Take a look. Welcome to Godforsaken Hellhole. Not much to look at, but it's all mine. <laughs> A pleasure. Whatever.
slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? All right, all right. I guess you look harmless enough. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. This is Enclave Radio with your host, me, President John Henry E. It's love. And now, reason. one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry E. Associate with men of good quality Ideas. if you esteem your own reputation. For it is better to be alone than in bad company. Hello again, America the Magnificent. This is President Levin, and I was hoping we could talk. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to. Something <laughs> so much and rarely receive. I'm glad I'm here to help. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. And if science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh, Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. I am afraid that the knowledge required to appreciate our true nature is far above your level of comprehension. Ah, your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes?
then that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. Hello there. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Each of us is required to speak one of the laws when we hold our ceremonies. I say the first law. Feast not on the flesh, consume only the blood. This is our strength. I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon, like he did for all of us. You don't think he's already messed up? Come on, don't kid yourself. We pulled him out of that shithole town just in time. Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. This is Moresti, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. My husband started this group not long ago. He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. They come from all over the wasteland now to find us and become part of the family. It was good talking to you. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Well, Vance makes each of us remember a rule. And when we all gather in the common area, we have to say it out loud. Kinda weird. So, my law is the fourth one. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace only the shadows. This is our refuge. Ian, what do you want from him? It's outsiders' perspectives that drove him here in the first place. Sorry, I can't really help you. Yes, I know. He told me. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. No, just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. Yes, I know. He told me. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. Well, Vance told me that this place was called Moresti. It was named after some town way across the ocean in a place called Romania. It's a great way to get back at those assholes out there who think we're losers. If it wasn't for Vance, I'd still be getting the crap beat out of me by those guards in Rivet City. I understand. Goodbye. You knew? I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? Oh, wait. Vance told me I was supposed to say something special when asked that. From his teachings. Oh, right. The third law is feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. 
Whew, almost forgot it again. I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. Right now I call this place home. The only home that's ever let me stay with my... problems. Well, anyone that Vance takes in because of their special problems can be part of the family. Guess I'll see you around. You got the... Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I... take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. When we all gather in the common area, Vance gives his speeches, and then we each have, like, a law to say. Mine is, Bear not the child, welcome only the exile. This is our fate. Kinda cool, huh? Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. Well, that is sweet, but Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right out of here if I told you how to find Ian. Sorry. Nope. Like I told you, Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. It's the last place I ever expected to end up. I mean, look at this place. It's so dark and dingy. What this place needs is a lady's touch. But don't tell Vance I said that. How about just the coolest gang this side of the U.S.? As long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, he lets us do pretty much whatever we want. Bye, sweetie. Usually everyone has a rule or something they have to yell out at our gang meetings. Since I guard the door all the time, I don't have to do that. I mean, they're good laws and all, but it feels stupid yelling that stuff out loud. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? When Vance stands on that balcony and starts mouthing off like some kind of preacher, it makes me want to puke. But if I want to keep this place stocked, I gotta have his permission. So I learned his fifth law. Kill not our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Pretty silly if you ask me. Do I look like a fucking babysitter? I don't know where he is. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. Now that's more like it. I finally won't have to pay for it anymore. <laughs> ah, hell, here's the password to the Pipsqueak's room. Come back and see me after you talk to him. Ian, 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 is that all you've got to say? 
Sheesh. This place is my place of business. You want to buy something, then buy. If you want to flap your lips, take a hike. We're the last people you want to mess with. That's for damn sure. If your caps are good, you can buy whatever you like. Beats standing there drooling all over the merchandise. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Say it ain't so. to speak to me again? Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, Ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the Wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the Vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Arafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. He had lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. No, it would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. 
You wish to speak to me again? I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Very well. I will allow you to speak to him. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. You are standing inside Moresti, the home of the family. This is our sanctuary from the outside world. It is a refuge for those society labels as outcasts. The family has become our moniker because that is exactly what we are. Related by blood. Even if all of us look different on the outside, we all have had the same vice infesting our insides. But now, through my teachings, these subjugated people have come together and formed a bond stronger than mere friendship. You are free to roam the common area of our home as our guest. You wish to speak to me again? You are free to roam the common area of our home as our guest. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Help? How can you help? There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? She... she really misses being home and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem with your idea is that these blood packs are scarce. What do you propose? Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. 
speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. The adventures we had from Nardwuk to Hot How's it? Okay, I guess. The new guy's taking up most of my time, but I think he'll come around. He's been through some serious shit.